Hey guys, so I'm walking my dog again and today I'm going to talk about a topic which loads of people have asked me and I've never really been bothered to talk about it. Um, about my experience of going to Russia and training with the master, Steven Seagal. And never talked about it because, I don't know, I don't like talking. So I'll give it a go, I'll try talking about this experience. So, I was really lucky because... I have to give thanks to one guy. His name's uh, Remy Hegelson. We had a fallout, and I think it's probably my fault, but you know, I I said something he didn't like. Then we blocked each other. It's all baby bullshit, but I think it's my fault. I said something he misunderstood. But anyway, but it was it was this guy here, and if you know about him, he's really he's a pretty tough guy actually. Does a lot of level security work. I think he's a second or third level um, uh, wing uh, Akira master. Okay, so anyway, that was that's one guy. The other person, uh, her name's uh, Letizia Faoro, and she represents uh, Steven Seagal in Europe and has an official page on Facebook. I think it's Tension Dojo, so you can go check that out as well. Anyway, these are two people that got me in, and. At that time, I was the only Wing Chun student there, which freaked me out. I think there was like 150 people, maybe 200. I don't know. It, things just looked big because it felt like, you know, one of those Jet Li or Bruce Lee movies because I was the only guy wearing black, which I normally wear black everywhere I go because, because I'm a teacher, right? And, and everyone was wearing, you know, the traditional karate suits where they wear the white, you know, white, you know, I don't know, judo type things, but well, uh, aikido type things, and then black. Anyway, so if that feels strange, and I said, like, oh, well, I'm wearing my Wing Chun clothes. And so, did did the seminars like this, and, you know, everybody was sort of like combat orientated. Every, a lot of people from different parts of the world had different combat backgrounds, security backgrounds, a lot of people did. I don't know, there seemed to be a lot of connections with... Um, security work and I'd seen a lot of the different photos of that I'd never seen publicly released of Stephen doing uh, work with um, high levels of security with the uh, Russian secret services and stuff like that so that really impressed me um, to actually see him work personally was pretty impressive because to me it seemed like there was like a deep connection between Wing Chun and Aikido, at least the way he presented it. Because he's got a fairly unique way of uh, looking at combat, right? It's very direct. And he seems to like connect Wing Chun directly, one-to-one, uh, -one, and then it flows into Aikido. Right? So that was pretty cool. There was the um, brother of uh, Fedor Emelianko, who was learning stuff from him, and that really impressed me, because the guy's scary, man, he's like, his name's uh, Alexandra, I think, and the guy's like two meters tall, and just looking at him scares you, you know, and you know, he, he looks like a psychopath, and, you know, he couldn't hold the levers that Stephen was putting on him, so if he gets you at close range, one, he hits hard, and two, if he grabs you and then does a lever on your arms or on your wrists, it's pretty hard to get out of. And and I'm really the type of guy that I'm happy to confront you and I'll offer you myself. So if you want to throw me or try to me, I'll go for it, you know. I mean, it's not because I want to challenge you or I just want to see if it works, right? Uh, who's in my private group, they'll see that I'm learning, you know, for the last two and a half years, I've been learning from a Greek Roman wrestler. You know, I'll get squashed. You can break my ribs. You can throw me. You can leave at me because I know my body's learning that way. So that's always my approach when I go into other people's territory uh, or their own home grounds. But once I learn that and it goes into my body, I make it my own. I've always been that way. Uh, that's my way of learning chi sao as well. So I I really think that he's pretty legit and uh, he's got no problems of like going one-on-one -on -one with you. He's pretty cool about it. He's fairly hands-on. 
people like to sort of badmouth them a lot, and I don't really have that approach. Uh, wasted my time hating hating on people I don't know personally. To me, is a big waste of energy. I mean, fuck, we've already got enough problems in our life. And, you know, wasting time and energy on personal shit in our life. I got to go waste my energy on hating people I don't even know. I mean, that's that sucks. You know, I'm not into that. So, for me, that's uh, that was a pretty positive experience. If I could do it again, I would. Um, I was impressed also with the students. Like I said, Letizia's pretty cool. Uh, Remy's pretty cool. He's a bit of a crazy bastard. He's a bit like me. Um, and even the other people that I met, you know, the other instructors that I met that have different type of combat backgrounds, uh, they're all structured pretty well. They have good knowledge in, in their programs. Um, I could relate it a lot to the way I grew up in my different lineages. Um, you know, there's nothing to bad mouth. I actually, I like the way they structure their, their Aikido progr programs as well. So, seeing that you guys wanted to know my experience, that's it. If you have any comments, if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do. <laughs> make, let's make it grow. Like I said, I do have a um, personal development group uh, on Facebook. If you're interested in that, but, you know, not to come and waste my time, let me know and I'll give you the link. All right. Take care, guys.